Keeping Secrets, The Art of Keeping It Under Wraps. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that's commonly used in the English language, keep it under wraps. Have you ever been told a secret and been asked to keep it a secret? That's exactly what we're talking about today. Let's explore what this phrase means, its origins, and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. The expression, keep it under wraps, means to keep something secret or to not disclose information to others. It's often used when talking about plans, projects, or news that should not be made public yet. The imagery here is almost like wrapping something up to hide it from view, ensuring that it remains unseen and undisclosed. The origins of keep it under wraps are quite interesting. This phrase likely comes from the idea of wrapping something up to conceal it, similar to how valuable items might be wrapped to protect them from being seen or damaged. Over time, this concept of physical protection transformed into a metaphorical one, referring to the protection of information from being exposed. Now, let's look at how you can use keep it under wraps in your conversations. Here are a few examples. We're planning a surprise party for Sarah next week. Can you keep it under wraps? The company is developing a new product, but we need to keep it under wraps until the launch. I heard some exciting news, but I've been asked to keep it under wraps for now. These examples show that you can use the phrase in various contexts, whether it's a personal secret, a professional project, or simply exciting news that's not yet ready to be shared. To expand your vocabulary, it's helpful to know some synonyms and related phrases. Here are a few, keep secret, stay hush hush, zip your lip, on the down low, using these phrases interchangeably will not only enrich your English but also help you understand more nuances in conversations. And that's a wrap on, keep it under wraps. We hope this video has shed some light on this intriguing phrase and how you can use it to communicate more effectively in English. Remember, part of mastering a language is understanding the subtle nuances of its idioms and expressions. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use, keep it under wraps, next time you've got a secret to share, or rather, not to share. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.